Hello everyone and welcome back to another customs video. Finally, it's been a long time. Um, as you guys probably saw in the video that I uploaded, I believe a couple days ago, um, there's been a lot of school stuff that I've had to take care of. Um, but I've finally been able to find time and make some videos for you guys. Now, this is a character I've been sitting on for quite a while now. Um, as you read by the title, this is Voltron. Um, why did I decide to make Voltron? Well, one, I've been making Pacific Rim stuff a lot recently, and it's kind of gotten me back into the giant mecha stuff. And also, um, the Netflix show, uh, Voltron, the Legendary, or Legacy, Legendary or Legacy, something like that, Defender, um, is alright, it's pretty good. I watched a little bit of it. I haven't watched it, um, that much recently, but from what I have watched, it's, it's alright. It's not amazing, but it's good. Um, anyways, this, of course, as you see in front of us, is Voltron. So this is probably one of the most intense, like, sculpting slash paint jobs that I've ever done on one of these figures, because I really wanted to make this guy pop out. And I think I've been able to accomplish that, because on the shelf, you could probably tell, oh, hey, that's Voltron. Check it out. Look at him. He really pops. So this is the first time I've really used highlights a lot. So as you can see here, I used the lime green, I used orange, I used like a bright blue, um, I have golds and silvers and other blues and light grays and um, like a crazy looking sword um, just splayed out all over this character. So what we're going to do is we are going to get into it. Um, so first off the bat, uh, this figure is pretty much... 90 to 100 percent just um molding clay or not molding clay green stuff because that's the stuff that i use remember as i always say if you want to get into this stuff i'd highly recommend green stuff it's not that expensive you can find it for pretty cheap and for what you're getting you can make a lot of stuff out of it um if you know what you're doing that is which it's not that hard to learn so anyways this is voltron uh, as you know so i'll use this sword to point out details so basically this whole torso, arms, legs, thighs, uh, waist, back, helmet, it's all sculpted. It's a ton of sculpt work, and it took a long time, but I'm so glad on how it turned out. So anyways, let's get into it. So this first middle chest is the Black Lion. So basically what I did here was I did a basic, over, or a basic first um, little coating, I guess you can call it. So all the black areas right here that has the highlights on it is the first uh, thing of, of uh, green stuff that I put on. Now the reds is stuff that I added on later. And this in the middle, which is his little symbol, uh, I also added in later. Uh, this is some, there's some sculpt work done here for the sides and for the middle. And that's all painted gold. Uh, the waist, he has this little belt piece, which is also painted gold. Some silver parts that don't run that far, um, and then for the back, it's mostly the black um, first coat from over here with some red on it. And then what I did with for these wings was I took a warthog chain gun, uh, one of those like little warthog chain gun turret shields, cut the shield in half um, for one of the sides, and glued it on. I mean, I did a little trimming on the top and on the bottom, and also on the uh, the sides and stuff just to make it a little bit more rectangular and not so like jagged edged because when I cut it it was like very very sharp and very jagged um, the head up here is a um, World War II uh, cod, it's like a cod World War II helmet or head and I basically just took this head and just dumped a bunch of molding stuff on it um, you can see this is the lion head so this is the black lion uh, there's a little bit of blue in there to kind of highlight um, his eyes and that little region. Um, the arms are basically done the exact same with a little bit of differences. The sculpting here is a little bit different. Let's see if it focuses. There you go. So these lion heads are also completely like hand sculpted, which I'm still very impressed about because I think these turned out amazing. The hand, the legs, not so much, but the hands, yes, the hands turned out looking amazing. So, yeah, this is the lion. This is the red lion. This is the green lion uh, down here. It's mostly um, sculpt work, as you can see. The yellow lion, I tried to make a little bit more bulkier 
because it's, you know, it's a lot more brutish. And also in the Netflix show, it's a lot more bulky than, let's say, the other lions are. Uh, so I use a basic Spartan leg. And then on top of that, I put a bunch of green stuff on it. Um, there's a main part here, same with here. All of these were built pretty much the same. You can see the teeth here and the eyes, sort of. Um, and yeah. So the sword, how did I make the sword? Let's just get into that real quick. So the sword is a Warhammer 40k sword, uh, specifically a Chaos Sword from one of the many kits that I have, because as you guys may know, um, I do have a Warhammer Chaos Army. And what I did was I chopped off the bottom and I attached one of these little pegs um, using green stuff and colored it in so that it would fit in. Um, and then when you put it on, it looks pretty good. Actually, I think the red one's supposed to be holding it. Yeah, the red one's supposed to be holding the sword. But yeah, uh, I took off little stars on the end because like on the handle, um, it was very pointy. So I kind of cut that off to make it a little bit more sword-like. Um, and he definitely looks like a knight. That was kind of what I was going for. Now, um, if you guys would like to see this, I do have plans for making a shield for Voltron as well. If you'd like to see that, be sure to tell me in the comments below. Um, but with that out of the way, honestly, this is about all I needed to get done. So this is, again, this is Voltron. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other, um, customs that I should make, it doesn't have to be Star Wars, doesn't have to be Marvel, doesn't have to be anything. It could be whatever you want. If you want to see me make something and just tell me in the comments below and I'll probably make it because honestly, I love a challenge. And this was one hell of a challenge. Um... But it was super fun, and it ended up looking great, and I can't be prouder of it. So, again, thank you guys so much for the wait. I hope this was worth it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Take care.